fact that this is your first independently made thing? Probably not, because it might not come out that way. But right. Yeah, hard to say what yeah. the future holds on that tip. Right on. But you went ahead and booked it. Well, we did put it together. I should say our management really, you know, Chris Hinderocker and Daryl Pitt. Chris really did an incredible job putting the sessions together. Why do they hate jazz? I think Chris hates jazz because jazz picked on him so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was an incident I know in fourth grade where he was coming home from school and he had his lunchbox, which was a nice you know, Hong Kong Fui metal lunchbox, and jazz was standing near, it was strange, it was near the church. Bad things happen near churches and police stations. Mm -hmm. That's just a That's mathematical true. fact. Mm -hmm. You'd think you're more safe and you're always more in danger. And he was right, by, and, and Jazz was standing there and opened the flap on the lunchbox, out spilled the crust of his sandwich and a, a, a half cup of cold soup. And from that point on, he's been anti-Jazz. I understand that. Yeah, I do too. Do you think this record will finally will finally um, get revenge on on jazz and and? Uh, There's too many throbbing. That's, that's There's the too many idea. throbbing <laughs> moronic backbeats on it mm -hmm. to ever really to ever really make peace with jazz. Just too <laughs> many throbbing moronic backbeats. What did uh, ja what did jazz ever do to you, Reed? 